This video reviews the basic operation with your Medmont E300 corneal topographer. Start by creating a new patient or find an existing patient. Once selected, click on Capture Corneal Topography. Make sure your patient is seated comfortably. Then center the instrument to the apex ring of the eye. The red line tells us how close or far away we are from the patient. While the red line's at the top of the runway, we're too far away from the eye. We need to move the instrument closer. While the red line's at the bottom of the runway, we're too close to the eye. We need to move back. Before lining up both green and red over the center, let's ask our patient to open up as wide as possible. Take a blink to smooth out the tear film and move in to take our capture. Once you have four images at the top above 95%, then go over to the rightmost image. It will always be your highest percentage capture, your highest confidence. Zoom in on those rings to make sure they reflect parallel and even, especially at the center. The central 10 to 15 are the ones that are most important. The topographer builds the eye shape from the center to the periphery. So if the center is poorly understood, the entire topography may be in error. Click Save. Then if you want to analyze those images, you can close down the capture window. Open up the patient file. Click on the topography. We can go to Display and look at this eye axially. Axial is the best way to interpret refraction or power of the eye. In this case, we see this patient has a with the rule astigmatism. It's fairly regular in shape, distributed within the pupil. We would expect this patient to ref refract to a very high quality level of acuity based on this very normal anterior surface shape. So axial is the best way to interpret power or refraction. Tangential, the best way to interpret the shape of the eye. We can look at the contours, the green, yellow, orange contours, and how they appear to be pulled inferior and slightly temporal. So a rigid contact lens placed on this patient's eye is most likely going to want to decenter slightly temporal, slightly inferior. So tangential is used for an understanding of shape. It's also very sensitive to finite points of curvature change. Any kind of molding that we may have done to this eye with a contact lens. We could pull up an elevation map and understand where is this eye high and where is it low. Red is where the elevation of the eye is high. Blue is where the elevation of the eye is low. We could imagine dropping a rigid contact lens on this patient. It's going to hit at this high elevation red here and this opposing high elevation on this side, as well as lift, where you see the blue at 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock. We could interpret this topography based on the tear film quality. We see this dark blue color covering the vast majority of this image. This indicates that the tear film on top of the surface of the cornea was very smooth, dark blue, indicates smooth placido reflection. If we saw hot colors, then that would be in indicative of tear film breakup or dry eye. 